uh, we do tend to make small mistakes, but it's all right because the program that you're going to see now is actually recorded three months in advance. Yeah, that's right. So uh, if we say anything that, that goes wrong, we can easily cut it out. <laughs> I was doing a sketch. <laughs> I came on and I got all the all the words wrong and I said uh, oh, I said it again I'm sorry I'm not, no, no I'm sorry I really am say so concentrate the whole show will be finished. help yourself to a drink I expect you know where it is <laughs> I beg your pardon. You smooth bastard! <laughs> Please pull yourself together and be civilized. Oh, yes, I'll be civilized. While Mr. Supercool here breezes off with my wife. <laughs> She'll remember all her life. Uh, that moment may be starting right now. <laughs> Jeff, hurry. Right, hurry. Right. Oh. Mom! Surprise! Oh, Dad, I had no idea you arrived. That's my girl. Great. This is Blackwood. I've said it before and I'll say it again. We Blackwood women have impeccable taste in men. <laughs> Mom, come see my wedding gowns over here. Oh. Sir? Jeff? Now, why don't you and I have a drink, huh? Mrs. Hendricks. No 
Norman Stanley Fletcher, you will go to prison for five years. Tell them how the average day begins. Starts off at 7 a.m. You'll be woken by a persistent and deafening bell. Then all the screws come round. I beg your pardon? All the prison officers come round. Offering such advice as, wakey, wakey, get your socks on, move, you horrible creatures. We reply to this bad with such remarks as, good gracious, is that the time? <laughs> morning, sir. And who's been having your old lady while you've been on night duty? I mean, you see those flowers over there? I want you to fill one for me. What, from here? <laughs> the Great Rift Valley of Africa was created amidst violent volcanic activity. Over the years, great quantities of caustic volcanic ash have been washed down into the lakes of the Rift Valley floor, turning many of them bitter with sodium carbonate or soda. Almost all of the animals that venture across them succumb in the heat and the soda fumes. And then the soda burns the flesh off them. Yet, there is one creature that thrives in millions in this hostile, desolate landscape. They're lesser flamingos. And this is the story of the flamingos and the burning soda lakes that they're adapted to live in. Saturday morning, I bicycle from the house to Farnham Station to catch the 12.22 to town. There is one very quiet and lonely stretch of road that lies between Charlington Heath on the one hand and the woods of Charlington Hall on the other. Two weeks ago today, I was passing this place when I chanced to look back and saw a man also on a bicycle. I slowed down, but, but he did the same. Then I, I stopped completely, but he did the same. So, I laid a trap for him. There is a, a sharp turning of the road, and I pedalled very quickly towards this, and then stopped and waited. But he seemed to disappear into thin air. <laughs> 